How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Opinion. And hey, just I actually, right before I came to sit down here, had to go sleep the kitchen, and there was some stuff on the floor that said Lakers on it. So I had to make sure I swept that up. Oh, oh, oh my bad. The, the Lakers got swept by the Denver Nuggets, in case you haven't heard. Of course, of course you've heard about it. So we're here to talk about it. But anyway, hey, Lakers, they're out. They, they, they've gotten swept by the Denver Nuggets. A lot of you all drank the Kool-Aid, and now we're going to talk about it here. We're going to talk about it because a lot of you all drank the Kool-Aid. And, and when I say you drank the Kool-Aid, you drank the Kool-Aid because you thought the Lakers were actually going to win a championship this year. And this Lakers team was not a championship team. And in this series, not only did Denver sweep them, Denver proved that game by game, they, 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 Denver proved game by game they were the better team over the Lakers. The first game, a lot of people still thought the Lakers had a chance. After the second game, a lot of people still thought the Lakers had a chance. After the third game, it, it became clear who the better team was. And it was just a matter of time, whether it was game four, game five, or maybe even a game six, it was just a matter of time before Denver put the Lakers out of their misery and they didn't waste any time waiting until a game five back at home. They put the Lakers out of their misery in game four. And LeBron James had 40 points, 21 points in the first quarter, and it still wasn't enough. The Lakers had as much as a 15-point lead and Denver clawed right back. Every adjustment that Darvin Ham and the Lakers tried to throw at Denver, Denver countered that, and they were able to get around it. Just as I was telling one of my friends, he 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 didn't he, he didn't think that Denver was going to have a move for AD playing off of Jokic and being able to roam. And every, everyone thought he was going to be able to bother Jokic's shot and block his shot. None of that stuff happened. Jokic still did the same thing. He he got others involved. He got himself involved. And the Denver was just the better team. And the difference here, the difference here, and it's like I've been trying to tell people, LeBron James, I'm not saying that he can't play. Obviously, 40 points, he proved he can still play this game. But the difference is, is that LeBron's 40 points is not the same. It is not the same as when Murray took over the game in game two or when Jokic took over the game in game one. LeBron cannot take over a game anymore. Yeah, he can go have 40, but his 40 points is just his 40. That's not getting the others involved in making others better. And that's what LeBron used to specialize at. And as LeBron has started to decline a little bit here, he is not going to be able to take over the game like some of these younger players can now take over the game. And AD is not as good as he was even three or four years ago. And Jokic is a whole lot better. So what a lot of you all thought was, especially Laker Nation and people that were rooting for the Lakers, a lot of you all thought that this was just going to be a repeat of what happened in the pandemic and, or in the bubble. And what you got to understand is, is that that was a different Lakers team, but also this is a lot different Denver team. Jokic and Murray are still there, but the, but the pieces around them are actually improved from what they had before. And the Lakers, this is a much different Laker team than even back then as well. So these are two different teams. The players on, on both of these respective teams are nowhere where they were four years ago. And so you can't, you, I guess what I'm saying is that you can't pick basketball by looking at the past and saying, well, this is the same thing that happened three or four years ago. It's going to happen again because it didn't happen obviously. And like I said, Jokic is now playing at an MVP level. Four, four, three or four years ago, you would have said AD is better than Jokic. You can't say that anymore. Jokic is better than AD. LeBron is older. He can't take over the games the way he used to. And tonight was an example of that. He goes for 40, 21 in the first quarter, does really, really well. They're up by 15 and Denver comes back anyways. Uh, uh, Denver is just the, the Denver's the younger team, and now the Western Conference for the foreseeable future, it kind of belongs to Denver, unless there's a team out west that can that, that has something to say about that. Because Denver, all their best players are like in their mid twenties. Jamal Murray's twenty six. Uh, Aaron Gordon's twenty seven. Jokic, I believe, is twenty eight. Uh, Kentavious Caldwell Pope, he's thirty. He he he's he's the elder statesman there, and then you've got. Uh, What's the other guy's name? The other starter. Uh, he's like 24 years old. So 
their their championship window is open for about the next four or five years if they can keep that core of guys together and then essentially just continue to build around those guys when it comes to guys coming off the bench um, as well. But let's get back to this series with the Lakers. What was it that surprised you all the most about this this series? Was it that Denver won? Because it, it didn't surprise me. I actually had Denver winning. I will tell you what surprised me the most was that Denver won it in a sweep. Because I just didn't, I knew Denver was good, but I didn't know that Denver was that much more better than the Lakers. I mean, it, by looks of it, the, you could say that the maybe are the Suns better than the Lakers because the Suns did win two games against uh, Denver, and by in large part that was to because of uh, Devin Booker, who I think is probably the best offensive player uh, in the game today. So he he kind of put the Suns on 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 their back. But I'm digressing there. So what was it that surprised you the most? Was it the sweep or was it that or was it that just Denver won period? Because I know what you Lakers fans are going to say. You're going to say it Denver won period. But hey, what I have to say to you Lakers fans is is don't drink the Kool-Aid next time. Don't don't drink the Kool-Aid with all these announcers and people in ESPN telling you that that the Lakers are going to win a championship. You come here Subscribe to my videos. I will tell you if I think the Lakers are a championship team because they were not a championship team. Because I was just thinking to myself, like, hey, and, and, and I, no lie, I was literally thinking to myself, if the Lakers win a championship, I was going to say to myself that the, in, the teams in the NBA are not that good if the Lakers win a championship because that's not a championship caliber team. They just weren't. They just were not a championship caliber team. When you rely on having to shoot a bunch of free throws, you're not a championship caliber team. You should be able to win when you shoot a bunch of free throws, and you should be able to win when you don't shoot a bunch of free throws. But if the Lakers didn't shoot a bunch of free throws per game, they had no chance to win. So you're not a championship caliber team. They were good. They improved. Tip your hats to them. They, they, they beat a couple of teams in the playoffs that nobody thought that they beat. Made the Western Conference Finals after a 2-10 and 10 start. Great. But they were not a championship caliber team. So now you all have to pick up the pieces you know, they're saying LeBron might retire. I don't know if I believe that, but Laker Nation, you guys have to pick up the pieces. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid, but I want to hear from you. Comment here, subscribe, because like I said, instead of listening to the Kool-Aid, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you the real next year. I'm going to give you the real. If, if I think the Lakers are a championship caliber team, I'll let you know. If they're not, I'll also let you know as well, but at least I will be honest with you rather than you listening to ESPN, Kendrick Perkins, and all these other people who told you that this was y'all's year and you were going to win. So, hey, go sweep the floors uh, and everything. And, uh, hey, en enjoy the offseason. But, hey, comment. I want to hear from you. I'm out.